for our project, we had to develop an electronic stethoscope, okay. which was aimed at improving the functionality of an acoustic stethoscope. And this was done through the um, audio, no, improving the audibility of the, oh, sorry. Oh, it's improving the audibility <laughs> through amplification okay. and being able to standardize diagnostics um, through things like uh, data logging okay. and uh, feature extraction. Yeah. yeah. And what were you able to do with the MathWorks tools? How did that help you with your project? Okay, so for with the MathWorks tools, we use them to do some for the digital post processing, okay. and this entailed the application of digital filters and um, feature extraction tools, as she mentioned. And the noising it also helped us to focus more on the concepts of our project um, less than the implementation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, that, would you say that was the value add for you? That you yes. Yeah. Because okay. it helped us sure. validate the designs that we had. Okay. So for example, with the digital filters, in terms of determining which order I should use, it helped me kind of get through that quickly, because mm -hmm. then I could already see from the design stage if it would work. Should I use an IIR filter or an FIR? Which one is stable? What order? Stuff like that. Okay. I also, um, I used a uh, wavelet transform okay. as part of the project, and it allowed me to, the MATLAB has inbuilt functions which helped me to um, implement it faster, as opposed to hard coding uh, with the transform. Um, and what was the big, biggest technical pain you encountered um, while putting your project together? And how did those value adds help you with that? Technical pain. Um, I'm going to have to go with, again, the process of denoising the signal. Okay. Um, it, it really, really did help um, me to actually do it in the time that we were given for the project. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There wasn't any real pain, to be yeah. honest, okay. because there's a lot of help mm -hmm. on how to use their tools. And yeah. it does a lot of the work for you already, so I can't really... That's nice to yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, there, went, there wasn't any pain, honestly. Nice. It, was, okay. it was easy to use, nice to use. It helped us like make less errors already. So yeah. if I had a design, taking it, using, for example, filter designer, yeah. I know that the design I have is practical, it can work or not. Um, what was the most valuable thing you learned while building this project? Well, in terms of getting people to help us, I realized that there are a lot of people in the world who are willing to really assist you in your yeah. research. So that's something that was really valuable. Okay. Also, uh, MATLAB is very versatile. Yeah. And we realized that we could implement something like an electronic stethoscope at a fraction of the cost of um, things that already exist, but it does the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And with MathWorks support, did you, what kind of support did you, did you lean on? What did you find the most useful? From MathWorks? Yeah. I guess the, yeah. Like the help tools, like okay. uh, yeah. how to use this function, and there's a lot of okay. examples, and yeah, the, the documentation, and, yeah. and also the, I think it's, it's a forum, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes, Looking exactly. at that, people already, Technology. and you realize that a lot of, People have done it before, yeah. so it's easy to find information, especially yeah. when it comes to MATLAB. If you just say electronic stethoscope oh. MATLAB, <laughs> then like, okay. there's a lot of help. That's awesome. yeah. um, so what was your perception of the, um, the MathWorks tools before the project versus after the project? Was it something you guys have used before? Yes, yeah. we, we already had a lot of experience okay. with MATLAB before. I think. More than anything, it was realizing how vast the actual versatility mm -hmm. is because from the beginning, you kind of learn the tools available as you need them. Yeah. Yeah. So things like the wavelet transform and the toolbox, we had no idea they existed. Mm -hmm. And the filter design. And lastly, where do you think this kind of technology could be used in industry? Okay, so besides um, in the medical field, mm -hmm. which is obvious, yeah. um, it's also used uh, for to discover faults in transmission lines. Okay. That's one use, and plumbers also use it to discover um, faults along the water pipes. So, yeah. yeah. But more than anything, medically, it's very important. Um, so the aim also is to standardize diagnosis, mm -hmm. because we realize that in terms of using a, the acoustic stethoscope, the diagnosis is directly related to how well the doctor can hear yeah. an abnormality. So things like audible, audibility and like amplification of the sound may, helps the medical practitioner make a more accurate diagnosis of what the problem is. 
and tools like feature extraction, they help to kind of verify that whatever is lis being listened to is in fact the heart, yeah. or it is in fact the lungs, or it is yeah. in fact GIT. And that's very useful for academic reasons. So students, and the fact that you can, you, you use headsets, and that means you can connect it to speakers. And if you're training a lot of students, you can tell them where to focus, what the heart is supposed to sound like. So it's good for academic reasons as well. You guys sound very passionate about this. Do you plan on doing anything with this when you graduate? Yes, we would hope to actually like extend the level of, of diagnosis more. Mm -hmm. So through applications of neural networks or something. Yeah. So that now, because there are certain characteristics of a healthy heart mm -hmm. and there are certain characteristics of hearts with abnormalities. So if there's a heart murmur, the features would be different. Yeah. So if we can extend it so it's more, it can identify what the problem might be, 